as I was sort of nodding away and dancing to that, I was just looking at this, which you know, for people who can't see in the studio, we've got a framed Lost Souls poster from the Rug Cutter Boys. Ah, yes. Mr. Yeah. Sean Bowden gifted me that when he was in here recently. Bless him. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, um, at this at this time, as we talk, Sean's no longer with us, mm. which was a real shock. Um, and mm. I know you guys went way back, much mm. further than I. Mm. Um, so that was that was a real shame. Oh yeah, it's a it's a tragedy actually. Um, I've not seen Sean for probably oh, maybe four or five years, but um, we always. <coughs> we always kept in touch, you know, um, as you do through, you know, social media, Facebook and things. And he wasn't a big player in that, but he was always present. Um, I was always keeping track of what he was up to. Um, and, um, you know, funnily enough, last year, um, sort of August, September time, you know, he was trying to convince me to um, do an Andrew Graham DJ set. Um, one of his... No, actually, no, it was before... No, it was around this time last year. I think, um, mm. and it was a case of you know we're gonna we're gonna do a a night. Um, can't remember where it was to be honest. He had a few things lined up, as you know from when they were here. Um, yeah, the Orchard Sound guys, yeah. And Sean and well, there was there was Jackie. sort of back and forth about you know, do you want to do a live set or or DJ? And I said, well, I think probably you know for your night, I think a DJ set would probably work better. But I haven't done it for. I'm stepping back 20 years. I, I don't think I'm up for this, <laughs> to be honest. I was working with vinyl then, and then I'm, all, all that's gone. You know? and, and even then, I, I sort of knew I'd, I'd sort of, when Sean was on, you know, I would hand over to Sean and say, just just take over, because I can't do this anymore. He was the guy who would, just wherever he was, would just recover it and, and just, just you know, um, Keep deliver. it together, yeah. Yeah, he would mm. deliver every time, 100%. Just a natural-born talent. And... Um, so, you know, when, when he asked me, I, I was on an hour and about it. He knows I'm like this. He, he knew I was always a bit of a, you know... Um, I wouldn't say he was always kind of complaining at me that I wasn't committed enough sometimes. He's, lazy, when, when he came, well, you probably saw the podcast, Steve, you know. he, he When Rabs came up, he was like, fuck, man, what a talented lad. <laughs> oh, bless him. And, you know, oh, he said sweet. the same. He says, you know, he just fucking... Get him to believe how good he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that's lovely to hear. Mm. Um Mm. I, I remember, I do remember. Um, I did put this on on their the what's their what's their site called now? Um, they do a night called um, oh, on the my house your house thing on the platform. Yeah, they, they, they've got their own Facebook page called um, it's not called ultrasound. Cover, ultrasound. Yeah. I, I did put a tribute on on there just to say that. Um, I remember so Sean somewhere in Nottingham we we'd gone to do a house party. It was on the top floor of a student house, and and Sean was with me, um, just stood next to me, and I was DJ, and I was starting to think, I can't do this anymore. I'm, you know, I'm losing it. I'm, it's it's not happening. And and Sean just saying, can I ever go? Because <clears throat> I think I'd like to, you know, start um, doing a bit more DJ. And I said, yeah, fill your boots, because I've had enough. And I didn't know what, you know, didn't know anything about how good he was or whether we'd done any you know, done, done any sort of DJing before and, and he just um, stepped into it like a hand in glove, you know. Mm. Um, and that was it. And and it was just kind of like, you knew he was just solid. He was de he would deliver every single time. Um, mm. And his taste in music was, was quite sublime. He, he, he just put things together um, and it was effortless, to be honest. Um, every time as well. You know, there was no inconsistency. It was always you knew when Sean was was playing, mm. and, and he knew his selection was was going to be well thought out, and and you know, and, uh, and it was it was part of him. Um, so bless him, um, mm. and you know, I will miss him. I really, really miss him because I was I was almost convincing myself. I mean, he almost had me going to Nottingham, buying um, you know some CDJs. Really, you know, I was I was that far committed. So that what what a nod that is though, because. Yeah. He knows that that's in you and trust enough and belief enough and all the things we've kind of covered tonight, that language, that feeling when you feel comfortable yeah. with somebody, when somebody can instill the ability or the belief in yourself to go, actually, I have got something to get out and you have twisted my arm or you've made me see or you've helped me get past whatever the obstacle or, you know, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. 
It's such yes. a shame, man. It's it such is, a yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I was absolutely floored when I heard about it. It just came from nowhere, um, you know. Mm. And I spoke to a few of his friends who were, you know, much much kind of closer to him recently than I I was. But mm. it, you know, it doesn't. It's not a pissing competition. It was just, you know, we do go back a long way, and um, you know, he was um, it was a very quiet sort of methodical. Um, Maybe a little bit trouble guy, but you know that was when he was younger. But whatever he, whenever he applied himself, he was absolutely one hundred percent focused. He said it himself on this podcast, you know, when we did it with with Jackie and him, just only a matter of weeks ago, which was mad, you know. He uh, and what what was cool for me, I knew we were going. to, I mean, I know Sean peripherally. I mean, I'm a bit younger than your generation, you guys, and so I kind of, I just knew more from the promoting side and going to rug cut. I was always spangled and just kind of well. You know, didn't really know of his wisdom and his his connecting abilities and his respect and his uh, yeah. prowess in in the <clears throat> the in the Lincoln and Nottinghamshire. Mm, uh, you mm, know, mm. regional. You know, yeah. Like. yeah. And what I what I found to be really insightful when we were chatting was like when we talked about you know parenting because for me being a parent now, you know, I, I tend to take a lot from people's perspectives on how they see the world when they're a parent and a lot of things Sean said really chimed with me like the way he sees the world the way he's integrated his kids into the world the way he he brings brought his children up <clears throat> you know I thought wow you know there's he's, this this guy's a dude you know he, he knows yeah. his stuff and he's he's as for all those troubles which he touched on you know early life you know had some troubles and traumas that never left him that mm. he struggled with you know yeah, it's a damn fucking shame. But as many people have commented to me, you know, so pleased that w that podcast exists. You know, I watched it all in, the way through, and it was quite difficult to watch. Actually, mm. I, I did get emotional, um, especially when he touched on things um, about his, you know, younger life, and and um, you know, I know his brother as well, his older brother Mikey, and and I hope he's okay as well. I'm mm. sure he's going through the a tough, really tough time, um, mm. but. Um, what I always loved about Sean was uh, there was never any um, other motive from Sean other than he loved what he did. There was no nothing to be gained. There was no um, agenda with Sean. He was just, like you said, he was a dude. He was just a really cool, um, focused, very knowledgeable, um, underrated um, human being. Um, I think people who knew Sean wouldn't say he's underrated because everyone knows. Yeah, because you you're aware yeah. of who he is. Yeah, but, but he, he you know he was the sort of talent, uh, you know, in that particular. Um, um, he loved music. Arena. Like, yeah, that, that, who, that comes through. Doesn't yeah, it? who could have been? You know, he's, he's as good as anyone else out there, and, and probably better. And but he's not interested in that. He was just you know he was in it for because mm. uh, in it for the love. You mm. know, live it like you love it, and all that sort of stuff. And mm. Um, mm. that's what he did. Mm. And uh, well, God bless to Sean and yeah, to family, absolutely. and you know, we'll we we'll nod to him. You know, it's a uh, it's life, man. Life comes and it goes, and it reminds us this crazy journey, mm. this it crazy does. journey, man. It does listen, Steve. It's been it's amazing been to have you in here tonight. I really My appreciate pleasure. it. Thank you for having me, Sam. It's been uh, lovely to catch up. It's been lovely to document that kind of timeline it's been a long one tonight and i've really enjoyed it <laughs> me too yeah it's been very very um very therapeutic actually yeah, yeah especially yeah. now in this climate it's yeah lovely just, to just sit and talk and, yeah, and just yeah. let it go absolutely right Perfect. thank you so much steve pleasure thank you very much peace cheers <laughs>